Pizza lovers, get ready. The National Toppers Pizza Skin Sprints Competition is about to get underway. The national competition will be held June 14th in Orlando, Florida. The competition requires each participant to make six pizzas as quickly as possible. More than 70 pizza makers from Toppers restaurants across the country will be there competing, including Cincinnati GM Ricky Fullerton. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. This Appreciate is exciting. It. It's very exciting. Now, um, we were with you when you qualified. That's right. And our cameras were rolling, and I think we have some video. We'll show you in a second. But first, let's talk about this competition. Well, it's uh, seven of us uh, from stores all over the country. Winner gets four grand. And I'm one of them. Four one grand. Of the contestants. Yeah, I'll take it. Just for being quick. All right, right. Let's see just how quickly you can make a pizza, and then I want a little all lesson. Right, I'll do one. Here we go. I wish I had a stopwatch. Oh, no. No, you don't. <laughs> Flattening the dough. Oh, flour flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, we got it on the screen. Oh, this is impressive. All right, sauce is going on. This is part of the competition. It's not just flattening it. You got to put the that's sauce. That's right, and it goes to. Uh, it's just the sauce. The sauce to the edges. Okay, so and no that's cheese. About it. No cheese. It's just you got to do six of them. Boom, and then as you, fast as you and can. you'll do six. All right, and then how long does that take you? What's your about two best minutes. time? Two about minutes. Two minutes. A little under two minutes. I don't want to tell my competition quite how good okay. I am, but we've been practicing. So. Have you seen the competition? Like, how quick are they? Yes, I think the best time that has placed was a minute forty-five, which is tough. That's gonna be tough to beat, but. Six pizzas in I'm going to do it for Cincy. So. Now I'm starting to wonder why it takes so long to get my pizza. When I get it. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. All right, so you brought some toppings yeah. along, too. I'm yeah. very interested to know this. You guys, you're toppers. This is on Calhoun Street in Clifton. If you guys haven't been there, you should stop by. Um, what's, like, the most popular pizza topping besides, obviously, cheese? Our, actually, our buffalo chicken topper is by Ooh. far our biggest seller. It has a spicy sauce, mozzarella, diced um, spicy uh, chicken and bacon on it. That sounds And then it gets good. drizzled with ranch and, and hot sauce. How did you get into the pizza industry and find out that you were so good at this? Honestly, I had always worked in pizza. I have a little sauce in my veins and uh, just uh, started looking at franchises and saw, uh, I liked what I saw and decided cool. to do it. So, yeah. All right, show me how it's done. All right, here. I'm going to give, I'm gonna give this a stab. Okay, this is video, by the way, right now of Ricky in the initial competition. This is his qualifying round. Look how quickly he's moving. Love it. Appreciate it. All right, so how, you weigh this out first? Yep, these are all pre weighed out. You got uh, all you got to do is uh, you start with your fingers, you make okay. the crust. Oh, so that's how you have the little that's edge. That's right. There. Go all the way around. Awesome. Ooh, you're pretty good at that, actually. Thanks. You're hired. And then once you once you make your dough, how long do you let that sit to, to rise? It's about two days. Uh, oh to, wow. To get it to where we and need it. it. Yep. So we have to plan ahead for those rushes. Okay. Uh, once you have it. About like that. You yeah. start to stretch it with your hands. So right now I've got about 10 inches. It's perfect. All right. And then and then will this get bigger and flatter? Like how do you differentiate between thick crust and thin crust? Well, we have a tall boy, which we actually use. It's, uh, it's uh, the weight of the dough is a little bit higher for that. Um, but this, you just stretch to the size of the screen you're going to put on. All right. You're doing great there. Go ahead and give it a so real I'm good slap. Don't slap. be slap. Okay, so you're, you're doing the whole it. arm. That's right. Not the fist. You're slapping and pulling, <laughs> slapping and pulling. And you can, cool. Throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> and once you get it to the right size, you throw it on there. And you Let's put see it right. Okay. Oh, I don't think mine's <laughs> even a circle anymore. I'll tell you close. what. You, you can use mine close. if you want to try to yeah, sauce it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. There's that one. And go ahead and get a full spoodle full of around. sauce there. All right. How much sauce do you recommend? Because I, I have a feeling that I would naturally over sauce a pizza. Well, honestly, this size spoodle is. is pro it depends on the size of the pizza. This mm -hmm. is a this is a 14 inch pizza. Um, so we use our eight ounce um, spoodle, um, and uh, pretty good. Do you want <laughs> like flatter. do you want to actually see the dough through the sauce? Um, you you kind of uh, a little bit. You don't want white streaks like that. You can f smooth it out, but you Even will you will see a little bit of the of, of the dough through there. And then how about cheese? Cheese. Let's get into it. Let's throw the cheese That's on. That's right. Just get your hands in there and you sprinkle it on, nice and even. Go ahead, jump oh my in. Gosh, you got to do is it. So cute. <laughs> I've never made a pizza. All right, again, this competition, June fourteenth. We're going to check back in with you, Please see do. how you do. Good I luck. hope it's I have the have Orlando, the gold. Florida. So send us some video. I will. And then come back and make some more pizza with us. I will. Us. Thank you for having me. I hey, thanks for being Thank here. You. Four thousand dollars on the line for Ricky Fullerton. Stop by Topper's Pizza if you haven't already. We're back with more, including your nine first morning forecast in minutes.